the next day, sixth Sunday of the NFL season. Rodney, you know, you tell me commanders are playing Ravens week six, six weeks ago. I think, okay. Now I think, hey, that's game of the day because the commanders four and one. Jaden Daniels has been awesome. The Ravens at three and two feel like they're better than that. Ravens at home still need to win. This is like one of those house money games for the commanders. Nobody expects them to win, but my gosh, if they could go in there and upset the Ravens, that would be the kind of signature win that gets everyone to take that team seriously. I'm not sure they can, but I'm sure of this. Jaden Daniels is awesome. And he told me last week, Rodney, he's still got a higher gear we haven't seen yet. Yeah, I think you have to take the commanders serious. I think most teams in the National Football League, they're taking them serious because of the quarterback but also what they've done in the front office, the guys that they hired there, Adam Peters, the head coach, Dan Quinn, um, just what they've done adding Bobby Wagner at the middle linebacker position, having those big two defensive tackles. um, Just they have good players, Mike. And when you have a young quarterback that's humble, that comes in, he does all the right things. He's a leader. He's exciting. He's he's um, he's not afraid. Um, He can do all the different things, man. It just gives you an opportunity and like I talked about, we for how many years did we look at the commanders and look at them like, man, this is like the black eye of the league or the you know black hole of the league. You know, now you don't hear anything negative coming from the commanders. You, you don't hear anything negative. You hear nothing but positive things, how, you know, how well the young quarterback is playing and just all the success that they're having. It's, it's really good to see. But to me, I agree with you. This is the game of the day because they're playing a good Ravens team. This Ravens team is really starting to figure out who they are on a defensive side of the ball. They're still learning their um, defensive coordinator. So, yeah, this is the game of the day, Mike. We're down to our final minute, Rodney, but an important development this week. A guy you know well, Dean Pease, joins the Ravens as a senior advisor to oh, help wow. Zach or the first-year defensive coordinator. And they're going to put him to work right away. Because we got to figure out what Jaden Daniels does, what he doesn't do, and how we can slow him down. Yeah, Dean Pease is the perfect guy. He's a tremendous coach. He listens. He's smart. And he knows how to make the necessary adjustments. I think that's a big call for him. And uh, th- this is also the point in the season where there might be enough film out there that you can kind of crack the code on what it is that the commanders are doing. And if you try to crack the code and Jaden Daniels still does well – You're never going to crack the code on who could be one of the great quarterbacks in the NFL sooner than later. Rodney, great stuff, buddy. Safe travels this weekend. Everybody enjoy the games on Sunday. Stick around for the PFTPM Chris Sims Unbuttoned Picks podcast. We'll see you with a fresh edition of PFT Live Monday. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.